The Sternberg Palace is a historical palace in Prague, which has a rich history and high Baroque style, and is now the exhibition hall of the National Gallery Prague.Zarda Sternbersko Palace. The Sternberg Palace is located in the historical part of Prague, on the famous Radkanska Square, Radkansk Namsty, which is next to Prague Castle. It was a city palace with a garden, built in 1699-1708 for Count Václav Wojciech from Sternberg, who, as a descendant of one of the oldest aristocratic families, belonged to the most powerful Czech aristocrats. The palace was erected on the site of old Gothic and Renaissance buildings, where at the end of the 16th century the Renaissance Palace of Christoph Popel from Lobkowitz stood. The name of the designer of the palace is not exactly known, but it is attributed to Giovanni Battista Alaprandi. The palace was owned by the family as a Fideicomis until 1811, it housed the Society of Patriotic Friends of Art. After 1871, for several years the palace served as a place for the mentally ill. Today, the former palace belongs to the National Gallery of Prague. The palace has an inner courtyard and is one of the most significant works of secular architecture of the emerging High Baroque in the Czech Republic. The permanent exhibition of the National Gallery of Prague is located within the walls of the palace. Temporary exhibitions are also held here. The walls of the palace also attract attention with the interior, in which the original decor is fragmentary, stucco, paintings, gold embossing and Chinese motifs. The collection of early Italian art presented in the walls of the palace is complemented by Renaissance and Baroque paintings, Alessandro Alri, Jacopo Bassano, Luca Giordano. There are also outstanding collections of Dutch and Flemish paintings from the 15th-18th centuries with a major focus on the art of Antwerp, Amsterdam, Utrecht, and Leiden. The altar with the crucifixion by Hans Rufan is a rare work. This is the only fully preserved Great Hobolo of the Passion of Christ in the state collections of the Czech Republic. Central European works of art are represented by the Nuremberg Art Collection and selected individual works from the territory of today's Germany, in particular from the important commercial and artistic region of the Rhineland, dating back to the 15th-18th centuries, Hans Baldung Green, Hans Durer. The exhibition also presents works of art from German and Austrian lands created in the 17th and 18th centuries, Georg Flegel, Paul Trager, Johann Karl Lott, Johann Michael Rottmayr. A small collection of French and Spanish art of the 17th and 18th centuries is notable for the significance and quality of the single works exhibited. The hidden treasure of Sternberg Palace is the garden, which is a peaceful green oasis in the center of the busy tourist scene. Its small size creates an intimate natural corner inviting you to relax and refresh. The garden is picturesquely situated at the edge of the stag moat, overlooked by a low parapet. It occupies the width of one palace wing and takes the form of a rectangle facing west, i.e., towards the Loretta. It is into this garden that the main facade of the palace opens, which in the central axis is penetrated by a massive avant-corps with a large hall, the so-called rotunda, on the first floor in the former garden hall, Sala Terrena, on the ground floor. In the center of the elevated oval avant-corps with a mansard roof is the coat of arms of the Sternbergs above the blind windows. The impressive composition of the garden facade is best appreciated from the view of the pond, which is decorated with a larger-than-life stork sculpture by sculptor Jan Rada. The original Baroque form of the garden is unknown. However, when the Sternberg Palace passed from the ownership of the army to the National Gallery in Prague in 1947, its employees, as it is written in the contemporary correspondence, with great effort and enthusiasm, adapted it to a very nice condition. Together with the gallery, the garden was open to the public. According to oral tradition, the granddaughter of the first Czechoslovak president, Tomas Barit Masaryk, the art historian Anna Masrykova, who worked at the National Gallery from 1945 to 1970, took care of it and planted several rhododendrons herself. At present, several solitary, large format sculptures are presented among the trees. The selected examples of Czech modern sculpture resonate interestingly with the Baroque Palace architecture and together with the natural environment create a unique form.